I'm Dr. Sahar Youssef. I'm a cognitive neuroscientist and a professor at UC Berkeley's Haas School of Business. I research new ways of working that fully tap into the biology of how our brains work. I also teach people how to rethink the importance of being busy so they can get more of their most important work done in less time with less stress. Since you're probably on your cell phone right now, you'll likely find this episode to be especially useful because today we'll be talking about the science behind how our devices are designed and the impact they can have on our focus and productivity. In 2017, Dr. Adrian Ward, a cognitive psychologist at UT Austin, co-authored a study that tested over 500 people on how well they could focus and solve different problems with and without their cell phones nearby. The results were pretty shocking. Even though their phones were off during the entire study, people performed significantly lower on every single task they completed across the board when their phone was in their field of view from attention and memory to general fluid intelligence. Yet during the test, most people claim to not be distracted by their phone. We can't blame this on notifications, incoming calls or apps. The phones were completely off. And it can't really be the phone's fault. After all, it's just some metal and glass. The problem really lies in our cognitive associations with the devices in our lives. But the good news is, that when we look at the biology of the brain, there are a few things that you can do to take back some control. If you found yourself on social media while trying to write an important email and wondered how that happened, or blame yourself for why it happened in the first place, it's not entirely your fault. Our brains are hardwired, so to speak, to seek reward and avoid pain. The human brain is always looking for ways to get more dopamine, which is the brain's main reward chemical. Tech companies and the behavioral scientists who work for them know this and intentionally design their products to take advantage of our brain's biology. This is why I recommend that we all reevaluate our relationship with our notifications. Don't forget that you can customize notifications for all of your apps. You might also wanna ask yourself, what notifications do I want to get in real time? And what can wait until later? This will help you figure out which notifications you really need and give you more focus and brain power throughout the day. When we think about ways to spend less time on our phones, Plenty of options have been championed, from using a time tracker to limit our screen time to wearing an old school watch. But there's one simple method that leverages neuroscience that you might not have considered yet, turning your phone's display to grayscale and removing all color from the screen. Everything about the way our devices look and feel is intentionally designed to be as stimulating as humanly possible from the light they emit to the color saturation of the icons. All these things are designed to pull you in. This technique works because without color, your phone immediately looks less enticing. Now, there might be some moments that you'll want your phone in color, like when you're sharing a photo with friends. Most devices have a way that you can add this feature as a shortcut, so you can easily turn it on and turn it off whenever you need. And the problem isn't just with our cell phones, it's with all of our devices. If you're anything like me, you've probably found yourself with 100 tabs or windows open at least a few times a day. But you should know, all these tabs and windows create additional distracting visual clutter that can tempt you to click around instead of focusing. In terms of productivity, it can be helpful to think of your brain like a muscle. Even seemingly small distractions, like an extra window or tab, really start to add up when their weight is combined. When you really need to focus on a specific task, you can take back control and limit those additional weights by doing two things. First, minimize all of your open windows or combine your tabs into one passive window that you can easily remove from your visual field when you need to focus. Second, Create an active window with only the tabs you need in that moment. Then go full screen. 
If you find yourself in this situation often or you just can't live without your tabs, there are a number of software tools on the market that can help you quickly close and save all of your tabs and reopen them again when you need. So if you find yourself getting distracted today, pause and take a moment to check in and ask if there's a small change you can make that could help your brain zone in and focus. I'm Dr. Sahar Youssef. Thank you very much for watching.